Welcome back to St. Right Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this class, I'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful shift gown with pockets, as you can see, and jacket with trimmings. This gown is really looking gorgeous and is trending. So I'll be teaching you the tips and tricks to making this beautiful jacket on a shift dress although we have two patterns for this the one you saw on the video and my own style okay so if this is what you want to learn in this class i will encourage you to stay to the end of this tutorial so as to learn how to make this gorgeous dress thank you very much i'll be making use of my ankara so you can see my Ankara right there. So what I have there is six yards and I have my My trimmings. Okay, so we have this kind of trimming in the market so this trimming uh, Has different sizes. We have the velvet trimming and We have the sequin trimming so you'll be making use of a bolder sequin trimming. So here I have two inches sequin trimming for it. And then I'll be using uh, my doll face satin fabric. So I'm actually using a doll face satin fabric right here. So I'll be using it for the lining for this dress. So now we want to start this tutorial so the first thing i'll be doing is um i have a whole six yards but i'm not going to use the whole six yards so what i'm going to do now i'll first open it up and then time for us to start cutting this dress and you know ankara comes by length of 45 so since it comes by length of 45 i'll not be using the ankara length because it's not going to be enough the length of this dress is a full length and it is 60 inches by length. So what I did was just to fold, take one salvage part, as you can see right here. And I have to fold it to the width of my hip, the largest circumference of, on the body. So the largest circumference of my body is my hip. So that is what I used to fold this Ankara so now this is what i mean from this point you can see this part is on fold the width of what i folded is my hip circumference so this is my hip circumference my hip is 50 divided by 4 is 12 and a half i added one inch for sewing allowance and i added half an inch for my ease because this is a fitted gown so I now added just extra one inch, okay, just to for the cutting of this. So everything I have here for hip 50, I folded it just at 15. I believe you understand this explanation. So this dress we are going to make now, I'm going to use this folded edge. I'm going to draft the three patterns, front, back, and the jacket on it. So once we are done with this, we'll start placing, using this to place on the back, to place on the front, then we'll cut out the jacket from here, okay? So I want you to follow up this class to see how this is going to be achieved. So once you have folded it on your, on the hip circumference divided by four, added your seam allowance of one inch, half an inch of ease or one inch of ease, depending on how free you want it to be. But this is a fitted dress. I'll advise you put half an inch for your ease. So I'll just mark my border line. This is the starting line, my border line. So from this line, I'm going to take all vertical measurements. So I'll place my tape. The first vertical measurement is my chest line. So my chest line here, I'm working with nine inches. So I'll add half an inch for my stitching okay because i'm working directly on fabric so once you get your chest just add half an inch of course you know how to get your uh, chest line that is your bust circumference divided by six plus 1.5 any figure you get you place your tape right here 
and mark it. Mine is 9 inches. My ball circumference divided by 6 plus 1.5. Mine is 9 inches. And here I've added half an inch for my seam allowance. So the next I want to take is my... I'm taking my waist. My waist is 17. Of course, we are not going to have a half length here. We are not cutting out any. This is a straight gown. There is no half length for it. So it's just straight. But I'll be using this half length to create the pocket. So that is why I need this line as a guideline. So my waist is 17. I'll add half an inch again. So I'll just go ahead and rule 17 and half. So you need all these guidelines. So you'll be able to make this dress uh, accurately. Then I have gotten my 17 and a half. Next is my hip uh, length. My hip length is 29. Divide by uh, plus half an inch will give me 29 and a half. Then I'm going to rule that line. Okay. Then the next is going to be my knee line. Okay, this is a pencil gown. So we are going to use our knee line. So I'll come back, place my tape. After having my hip, next is my knee. So my knee line falls exactly at 41. Okay, but because this is a gown, you don't need to place this because you see what why we are making doing this anyway so i will just come up one two three four and mark my knee position so we'll be using this to shape in the dress so i'll add half an inch to it don't forget so if i add half an inch that is for stitching allowance okay so you know we've been adding half half inch half an inch all over in this class for stitching allowance so we've gotten our knee our hip so the full length of this dress I'm using 60 inches so from here from the shoulder as you can see I place my tape back this is my chest line and this is my um, my waist line this is my hip line my knee line and then i'm going to take the full length okay so the full length of this dress i'll just get it up to this point so i'm just trying to arrange it to be sure i have this so 60 inches is my length i'll just do for my hemming i'll add one inch so at this point of one inch i'm going to rule my line okay so at this point that is where the full length of this dress is so now we'll come back again since we've get gotten our vertical line so we'll start drafting starting from the shoulder line like i said you are drafting everything everything we are drafting three parts here three the back the front and the jacket so the first thing i'm going to do now so the first thing we are going to impute now is my shoulder okay so from the center front i'm imputing shoulder my shoulder here is 15 inches divided by two is seven and a half so i will mark and then i'll go ahead and add half an inch to it can you see so i'm adding half an inch so everything you have on your shoulder here plus the half an inch here for me i have eight inches so if your shoulder is bigger than this you can you should divide your shoulder by two whatever your shoulder is divide by two add half an inch for seam allowance so then for the back neckline i'm making use of four inches from the center front so i'll mark four inches is the width of the neckline for back front and the jacket then the depth of the neckline for the back here i'm using one and half okay so this is one and a half. So from here to here is one and a half. Then I'll go ahead to connect the back neckline from the one and a half to the four inches. So I place my tape, my pattern ruler this way. So 
So you have to place it in a way that you have a good curve connecting it at that point. So that is my curve. Okay. All right. So once I've gotten the back neckline, the next thing I want to do is to mark out the front neckline. So the front neckline here, I'll be working with. It depends on how deep you want your neckline to be. So here I'll be working with five inches, okay? So by the time I stitch, I'll be having it at uh, five and a half. So this is five inches, I'll mark. So it depends on how deep you want your neckline it to be. So there I'm using five inches. So to just get my neckline very appropriately, I love to do this kind of square. So by the time I place my ruler, my curve ruler, any, anywhere I have this curve on this guideline is going to form my neckline for me, especially when I'm making a U neckline. So I think I have this U neckline this way, okay? So I'll just blend it up. So make sure you have a good U. That's why I have to make that square at that point. Points, okay, so I'm just shaping it a little more to form the exact U neckline I want. So I think it's okay what I have here. So now I'm going to drop what I have here for my shoulder. Drop from my shoulder. I'll mark one inch, and that one inch drop. I'm going to connect it all the way to that neckline this way. I you see? So I'll connect it to that, that neckline. So once I'm done with that, I'll come over to my chest line and I'm going to take my the same shoulder plus half an inch for seam, which is eight inches. I'll just go ahead and mark. I'm trying to create my neckline, my armhole line now. So in creating this armhole line, I'll just put my ruler straight to the shoulder on top and to the chest line. I'll mark. Now I'm going to take my armhole. So from here to here, whatever I have, I'll find the mid line. Okay. So this is the mid line. And then on that mid line, I'm going to create my armhole for the back. The back is half, half an inch from that mid line. And I'm going to connect to the shoulder drop this way. I'll also come back there and take the measurement of my armhole for the front. I'm using three quarter, which is 0 0.75. And I'll connect it to the tip of the shoulder this way. So once I'm done, before I connect the armhole curve, I'll have to get my bust circumference on the chest line. So my bust circumference here is 40, divided by four is 10 inches. So from that center front, this is where I have my 10 inches. So here, I'm going to add half an inch for ease, half an inch for ease on the bust. And I'm going to add one inch for seaming allowance. So everything here I have is 11 and a half. Can you see? So this is it. So whatever your bust is, divide it by four, add half an inch for ease, add one inch for sewing the dress. So once I've gotten that, it makes it easy for me to connect my armhole. So I'll now come to the armhole for the back, place my pattern ruler on the chest line and on that line I made. So I'm trying to connect it, uh, to place it very well before I connect. So here is the curve for the back and I'll shift it for the curve for the front. Can you see? So here is my curve for the front. So I've gotten the upper line. So next we want to go over now is to what we have on the waist line. So here on the waist line, I'm going to, I told you it's a fitted dress we are making here. So I'm working with waist 40 divided by four will give me 10 inches. So I'll mark, okay? Then I'm going to add half an inch for ease. But please, if you know you have big tummy, add one inch for your ease, please. If your tummy is big, some people have very big tummy. If you add half an inch, the fitted dress will be tight because of the 
tummy please if you have a big tummy instead of adding half an inch add one inch for your ease but for me i'm adding half an inch from here from my waist divide by four i'll add half an inch for me and then add one inch for my seaming allowance so everything here will give me is going to give me 11 and a half too okay 11 and a half so I, I just want to check what i marked okay this is my 10 inches for my waist divide by four then i should add one and a half to everything half an inch for ease and one inch okay so this is where i have my line so now i'll just simply connect what i have right here okay i'm going to simply connect my chest to my to the waist so this is my chest to the waist so i'm taking my time to do this okay because i really want you to follow up i'm not rushing anything i just want you to follow up this, because this part is the main part the cutting okay so if you get it wrong the dress will actually turn out wrong wrongly so here is my waist my hip so my hip circumference is 50 divided by 4 is 12 and a half so here is the marking of my 12 and a half if you have a large tummy please add one inch for ease but for me i'm adding half inch for ease and I'm adding one inch for sewing, sewing allowance. So if you have a large tummy, please add one inch for your ease. So here, everything here I have is, should be giving me 14 inches, okay? So let me take it again to be sure, because my tape is like, is moving from the center front line. So this is 12 and a half, and this is where I should have my one and a half. Okay, so everything here should give me 14 inches. All right, so once that is done, I'll go ahead and connect, place my ruler this way. You can see how I placed it this way from the hip, from the waist to the hip. I'm using my body form ruler. You can see how I placed it from the waist to the hip, including my seam allowances. So now, note that my hip here, my the measurement I had here, that is hip divided by 4, which is the 12 inches plus half an inch, that is the 12 and half inches plus half an inch for ease and 1 inch for my stitching. Everything here is 14. So from this 14 inches, I'm going to take off 1 and half. So if I take off 1 and half from 14, I'll have 12 and half. So that is what I will place. 12 and a half is what I'm going to place on the knee position. If you remember, this was our knee when we drafted. So I'll just place 12 and a half and mark. I just took away half an inch from my, um, one and a half inches from my waist, okay, to form this dress. So now I'll come this way with my pattern ruler from that hip. You can see how I placed it, my pattern ruler now. From this hip, I'll go ahead and connect to form the hip and the pencil gown. So this 12 and a half on this hip now, on this uh, knee line, this 12 and a half, I'll take it to the hem line. Can you see? I'll take it to the hem line. So on the hem line, I'll simply place 12 and a half and I'll do what I'll mark. Then I'm going to connect this with a straight line. So I'll just go this way. Connect this with a straight line. Okay. All right. So that forms our gown for us. So what we have here now is the shape for front and back. Okay. What we have here, you see how we are going to place it for front and back. So now... The next thing we want to do, I actually want to draft the jacket here, okay, because we'll place this to cut the back, the front, the jacket. All right, so we are done with back and front. So before we place it on another fabric for the back, we want to create the 
jacket okay so to create this jacket now we need to create the pocket first so the pocket right here we are going to step down from the waistline by two inches to create this pocket so right now this pocket because of this pocket we are going to have a joining okay we are going to join up and down for the front okay because of the kind of pocket we have so once you step down by two inches simply reconnect your waistline so the waistline now because of this joining is going to drop from where it, sh it should be to where the pocket is going to start because we are going to use that joining to be able to sew this kind of jack uh, pocket so it's not the normal pocket we put by the side this one you are going to see how we are going to create it so we need a joining right here to achieve that so you can see i blended i placed my pattern ruler and re-blended this is now my new waist that is what i mean so these two inches from here is my new waist line so i'll just go ahead and do what create this mark so this becomes my new waist line because of the pocket so another thing i also advise is remember when we are making creating this half let i placed my tape on the shoulder here and i got my chest line at nine and a half i got my waist line at nine and a half uh, sorry 17 and a half so please instead of adding half an inch add one inch please be only for the um add one inch uh, for your mark that is instead of marking 17 and a half please mark 18 the reason is because once i cut this line off now we'll use half an inch to sew the upper part and half an inch to sew the lower part please because it has a joining for the front because of this pocket the initial plan was not to have a joining in the front but i just realized that with this pocket we need a joining for the front alone and you need to do what I just did here. If you have already, if you are following this um, um, this video, just as I'm working on it. But if you are done watching watching this video and you want to start up, I will include, I will encourage you to take your waist uh, length plus one inch to sew up and to sew down. I believe this is clear. So now this is the new waistline because of the pocket. Because your pocket, you must come down two inches from your waist to create a pocket. Now the pocket opening standard is seven inches. So I'm going to mark that seven inches. Then I'll come in from here by one or one and a half. Okay, so let me just do one and a half. Okay, let me do one inch. I don't want it too open, but if you want it to open, you can go by, okay. I think one and a half is okay. So let me just do one and a half this way. So that one and a half, I'll connect it to that seven inches and that is standard for pocket. So that is my pocket now. Although this shape, when we are cutting, we are going to see how we are going to cut, you know, to form this pocket. So just go ahead and do what I did right there and you are good to go. So the next thing we want to do now is to create the jacket. Once you have gotten this pocket shape, next is to create this jacket. So we are using this same neckline for the jacket. So I'll now come to the length of this jacket. This jacket is going to be dropped at three inches below the hip line so three inches below my hip line this is my hip line so i'll just come down from here three inches i'll add half an inch for stitching the jacket okay on the hem and i'm going to also mark a straight line so now this jacket is going to fall from here okay so just to get it right from this one and a half just measure to the measure from there to what you have okay so the whole of what i had here okay so from here this line i'm taking the measurements but i have them um, 10.75 so i'll just come back on that my jacket length 10.75 i'll mark that 10.75 i just want to get a straight line that's what i'm doing 
so i'm going to connect a straight line from my jacket from here to here so but note that we are going to uh, hem the jacket side so to hem the jacket side i also advise you add your seam allowance of half an inch for hemming on the side this way so i just connect half an inch for hemming on the side so i just go ahead and recreate this line that is half an inch so if i'm cutting my jacket now i'll just cut it from here to this point okay so now the jacket proper we are using the neckline for the jacket and we'll come to the hem of the jacket we are going to go in two inches on the hem of the of the jacket so once you mark the two inches go ahead and place your ruler connecting it all the way to the neckline so you can see me going this way so if you have a long ruler i think it's better i'll just go ahead and connect it to the neckline this way so that forms the jacket for this uh, dress okay all right so that is the jacket for the dress and we are done so what i'm going to do now is to cut out the side of this dress to the end and place it to cut out the back place it to cut out the front then we'll now cut out this jacket so i believe this line of the jacket is feasible okay i believe you are seeing it you are seeing the lines so let me make it more feasible okay so i just connected it to the neckline this way okay all right so i'm going to cut now so i just want to make little adjustment to my neckline i don't want it to be so wide and now i'm cutting out the sides so to cut the back i just put the two savage together okay i want to use this part for my zipper allowance so i will now get the the front fabric okay and i'm going to place the center front leaving about one inch for my zipper allowance so i'll just go ahead and align this at one inch okay so i just secure it with my pin leaving one inch let me do that all right so this is my zipper allowance i took one one inch all over that is going to serve as my zipper allowance so after that is done, note that this was our real waistline, okay? That's your natural waistline, not this one, okay? So at that natural waistline, just extend the line on the back. Do the same at the extension. So now I'm going to go in for my zipper, uh, the zipper contour line. I'm going in from here by 0 0.75. If you remember, that's how we usually contour. So that's 0 0.75. I'm going to connect it to the hip line. So this is the hip line. I'll just go this way to the hip line, okay? For the back contour line. And I'll also do take it from there, from that 0 0.75, and flush it to the neckline. I believe you understand okay so let me just make a mark to show the back of this dress all right so now i'll come here and replace what i i took away from there so from this point i'll add back that 0 0.75 so make sure you replace it or else you have a shortage so now i'm going to connect that replacement to my chest line so i place my pattern ruler this way the way we placed it last time and i'll bend take it this way to the hip line so from here i'll connect to the replacement all right so that is all we need for this back so now we'll start up the cutting of this dress okay so we are cutting the back once you are done with what i just did you start up the cutting of the back 
So the cutting of the back now, I'm going to start cutting from the neckline for the back. So for the neckline for the back, make sure you secure with your pin before you cut. So I'll just put it this way. So everything I'm cutting here now is back, back, back. So on the neckline on the back, I'll come here. This is the neckline. So I'm taking it to the shoulder. And I will take it to the same uh, shoulder seam line. Then I will take it to the armhole for the back. To the back armhole. So note that we are cutting the back. So everything we are cutting here is going to be back, back, back. Okay. Then I will now follow from the chest line, okay, from this chest line now, I'm going to follow the back part we contoured, okay. Once I get to the hip, I will now follow the actual uh, shape which we cut off and I'll take that to the end. Can you see? So I took it to the end now, as you can see. Okay. So, but once we come from here, the you can see the contour line which we added. Please make sure that line is contour is added. Now I'll now come from this neckline for the back. Now I'm going to follow that shape. The back contour line to the waist. So once I get to the waist, I will take it back to the hip. So you can see I've taken away. So you see that shape. Okay, so we don't have any zip bulge at that point. So we are done with the back now. So I'm going to take off my pins. And we are going to cut the front. Okay, using this same pattern. So I'll just take off this pattern we've been using. Like I said, it's three patterns. So if you are making without a jacket now, we could have been done by now. So I'll just take off this and keep the back. Then we'll now fold for the front. I've placed it on top and I've secured it with my pin. I secured it to my pin, with my pin up to this point, okay? So remember, that um, this back, remember that this uh, front, we later introduced a half length and it's because of the pocket. So I'll just come over to the half length and extend my line and I'll just extend my line, okay? So once I extend that line, that is the part I'm going to cut it, cut out. So by the time I take this shape out, I will note this part as the where I will divide or separate the upper and the back piece. So I now go ahead to cut. I'm going to cut right away. So I'm cutting the neckline. So I'll be cutting the neckline right now. So for the cutting of the neckline, I will go through the front neckline, okay? So make sure you have this well folded. Make sure they are pinned like I just did. So for the back neckline, I'm going to go this way. So I just want to check something before I cut. Okay, I did this at 5 inches, okay? So let me just take my bust point line. So I will note where... Okay, all right. So I just checked something anyway. So I'll now go ahead to cut. Okay, so I'm going to cut following this neckline.
and cutting following this so i just go ahead and cut okay then i will now go ahead and cut that is the armhole for the front so you can see me going deeper and i'll bring it out back can you see so we take off that armhole so the cotton is actually the main dress okay so that's why i'm taking my time so at the end of the day we don't make any mistake so i'll just go straight down anyway all right so i'm done cutting it out now so we have our front and we have our back so another thing i want you to notice you know the front is going to have the pocket and it's good we also mark the pocket line so this is the pocket line this line so i'm going to transfer this line very important that is where we are going to cut off and then i'll simply remark the shape of this my pocket on the front so i will just take off the pattern i'll just take it off okay so once i've taken off the pattern next is to recreate the line that line okay that's the pocket line where we are going to detach this now so i'll just go ahead and measure back the seven inches pocket line and go in by one and a half so we'll just create that pocket can you see so we created the okay so now i'll simply go ahead and cut the half length separately okay like i said when you are adding your seam allowance make sure you add for the cutting i've explained it before anyway so by right if your waist is 17 inches on this half length now you should be having 20 inches but because i added 17 and a half and two inches so i have 19 and a half so it's okay so we just go ahead and do what uh, separate this we are going to join it back that's the only way we can uh, create this pocket so for this my pocket at uh, this one and a half i'll cut off this to that seven inches so you see that is the space for the pocket so now we are going to cut the facing of the pocket and we are going to cut the pocket bag now so i'll show you how to go about it all right so now we want to cut out the pocket bag so for your pocket bag you need two pieces like this and they need to be equal okay so these two pieces i have right here will serve for right and left hand pockets okay so now i'll be using one to demonstrate to you whatever i have here should be what i have here as well so now the width of your pocket bag is nine inches and the length of it is 12 and a half inches so for this i'll put them on fold you can see when on fold i will now make a notch so this notch is going to show the center pockets so now i'll come back with my pattern can you see this is the pocket part so note that this was the part we marked at seven inches all right so after making that notch okay on the center uh, folded line i'll open it up the inner part and make my mark indicating the back and the front so i'm going to fold this 
the inside will be at the inside now the part i marked at the back will be at the outside so i'll come in with my pattern my skirt pattern you know this is the front and this is also the back you know, make sure you keep marking them so this right side now i'm going to place it on top of my wrong side for the pocket and i'm going to pin this line to this line make sure i pin this edge specific specifically the hip line has to match here okay this part we can trim it off at the end of it so i'll quickly arrange it now then i'll show you how to cut it so when i'm pinning okay not the two okay because one of them is going to serve as the uh, pocket bag so since i have them together i'll just take this in and use only one can you see I took away that one and I placed it only on one. So you can see that one is this way. So just follow this instruction and take your time. You are going to get it. So I will align it now and pin. So we can shape it now to this part. All right. So now I've aligned it. So I'm going to trim off that single piece. I'll just trim it off to the shape of the pocket. Okay. So at this point, there should be a slight notch, okay? So you have to have a slight notch because we have to sew, using half an inch to sew the pocket to the pocket bag. So just make a notch at that point. And you trim off that excess. So at the end of the day, once I come back with the pocket bag, fold it back at that notch for the pocket bag this is what we'll be having okay so i'll come back to that notch hold it and arrange it again all right so now this is what we have okay so i have to bring it back to this uh, part so from the notch okay so i put it and place and align it so this is the excess you'll be having right there. So I can now trim off these parts, okay, to match up with the shape of the skirt. So now the next thing you do is to bring back what you have on the upper bodies because we need to align it from the center front this way. So once I've aligned it from the center front, I'm going to mark it out here so that marking i have there i'll bring in my pattern ruler so with my pattern ruler i'll position this to the hip line so this is my hip line here so i'll just go ahead and do this the same thing we did when we are drafting the front and connect it back so that becomes the pocket for you. So from here to here is simply that one and a half inch we took, okay? So I'll just go ahead and shaping the side of this pocket. So can you see? So that's how we go about the pocket bag. So this is the inside of the pocket here. So if you wish to give it a design, you can curve it if you actually want but if you don't want you can just go ahead and and do that but some people like to curve their pockets okay some people like to curve their pockets so if you want to do that simply do this okay that is for professionalism you can now just come here and do this then later we will so stitch it back so the inside of the pocket looks nice and beautiful so what i have here now i'll bring it out and that becomes my pocket so you can see what we have there okay so when i'm going to stitch now i'm going to completely stitch this way and turn it to have the pocket so make sure you have your notch very important on this part so i'm going to place what i have here on the other pocket bag i 
put away so i will place it and cut the same pattern now all right so for the back for the front this is what we have for the front can you see the down parts the front piece then the pockets okay so the pocket here is two so that is all we need so i'll just set them aside we are done with the front so next is to go to the jacket so for the jacket i'll finally bring the pattern which we have been using to cut so i'll just go ahead and cut so i'm cutting on this line okay i'll be cutting on the neckline following that line that is for the jacket so make sure everything is equal here so i'll just go ahead and cut 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 so that is why i told you we drafted front and back okay so i'll cut up to the jacket length okay then i will just add half an inch for stitching the lower part of the jacket okay then i'm going to follow this um a half an inch i added for stitching allowance that's stitching the jacket sides with half an inch so i'll just cut it straight to the original the hip we are working with now so this is the hip we are working with once i get there i'll do what that is how the jacket is going to be so when we start sewing this part now we are going to finish up this jacket completely then this is the front half length so this front half length will now it has to match up with the size all right so i just thought of um, showing you the right way to go about uh, these jackets okay because after cutting the jacket on the fabric i realized that it, the wideness i have on the chest line is too much and to make the jacket you know fall uh, so apart so the jacket as you can see on the video is just very close it's very close to the center front so I'll be showing you how to go about it um, appropriately. So I have to come in with my pattern. This is my center front pattern. And the neckline we used on the dress was 3.5. Okay, because we are working on fabric. But when working on paper, the actual neckline is supposed to be 4 inches. Because you'll be adding half an inch when you are cutting this on your fabric. And you come back to what we had on the fabric. So from here to here, I have four inches. And from here to here is my shoulder divided by two, which is 7.5. So I already had the measurement of my chest line. This is my chest line still at nine inches. And this is my waistline still at 17, if you remember. So now what we did uh, before we got the pocket and the jacket was to come down by two inches okay so when i came down by two inches i have to reconstruct the half length or the waistline this is the half the new half length which we joined to the down part of the body so the length of this jacket of course you know what the length was okay so you can extend your paper to make up for the length so now i have to come back from my chest line and reconnect all this i did on fabric but i just want to show you the right way to go about this so here on this half length if you remember we had our we had our the pocket at 1.5 and that was where we have to we kept the the jacket straight if you realize so whatever we have from here to here now was what we cut for the uh, jacket so by the time i cut you understand what i'm doing right here so now the at the length of this to avoid this to be too wide note that the neckline here is four 
on the chest line i don't want it to be too wide or too open so simply come in by one and half if you come in by one and half that means when it's opening it will open at three inches okay the more you go in on the chest line the more open the jacket will be so i just realized that mine is too open and i just tend to uh, want to correct this in case you are making yours please use this pattern use this pattern and making a place on your Ankara and follow all the process then at the hemline you come by 1.5 okay so you just go ahead and connect this is what I realized after making the dress and I thought of correcting it so what I have here now is 1.5 then I'll now go ahead and do what connect it this is the actual way to make this jacket okay so now I'm going to cut out this. So if you use this pattern, you will not have the you have this jacket appropriately sewn. Okay, so this is the right way. I just realized this after making the dress, and I thought of showing you the right way to go about it. So here we'll run straight this way and this way. And then this is the arm hole. So once you use this pattern, place on your car and follow the process of the jacket, which I'm going to show you now. This is just it for you. So you'll be happy with this jacket. Okay, I realized I made some mistake on mine. Okay, so this is the right jacket. Okay, the correct one. Okay, not the one we cut on fabric. Please discard the one we cut on fabric and make use of this pattern, okay, for your jacket. So you are cutting two times of this and you follow, use this to follow the right process. Now I want to cut out the lining for this dress and I know some of you would like to use lining for it. See, I put them together. So because we have a pocket here, so our lining will just come back with a pattern ruler and blend it up before we cut okay so you blend it up because the lining is going to be at the inside so i'll now follow the pattern of the dress and i'll just cut so the center front is already on fold of course you know that Then once I get to the half length, I'll just go straight. The lining is going to be cut straight. So I'll just cut it to the end of it. Can you see? So this is what you expected to have on the lining. So the pocket is here. As you can see, this is the position of the pocket. So now we are done. We want to go over to the sewing of the start off our sewing from the jacket right now and i really made a lining for the jacket and has stayed it right now so now i'm done turning it with lining right away and see what i have right here so this is what the back looks like as you can see so to the end all right so once we are done preparing the two jackets the next we'll do is to come over to the front dress so if you remember when we were cutting we cut the front dress we have the lining we have the skirt part so for this front dress now I'll just quickly take my skirt part that is what we want to work on so I still keep the upper piece of this dress so we are going to work on the pockets and we are going to work on the down part so here i have the skirt parts as you can see and this is the pocket piece so i'll just simply go ahead and open my skirt this way so once i open my skirt i'll come in with my pocket so you know how we cut this pocket so I just pick up the part that matches with this part because that is the part I want to demonstrate. So this is the wrong side 
and I'm going to match it wrong side to wrong side. So this is actually the part of the pocket. So you can see I placed a notch there. Okay, so there is a notch at that point. So I'll just go ahead and flip this right side to right side. So I'll sew to the point of my notch. I'll top stitch, then I'll come back to show you what next to do. I'm done sewing the pocket. You remember I flipped this side, right side to right side, and I've stitched my pocket now. So the next thing I will do is to flip these seams to the side of the pocket and go ahead and do what? Top stitch. So I will top stitch so everything lies, the pocket lies inside for me. So I'll go to my machine now and I'll run my top stitches. You can see my top stitches right now. Every seam is on the pocket. So at that point, I'll hold it down. And once I get to where I have my notch, remember I told you to make a notch at the center part of the pocket. I'll do what? Hold it down on that notch. Can you see? So if I hold it down on that notch, I'll just hold it and secure with my pin this way. Then bring the skirt this way. I'll go and run stitches this way to hold it down. So I'll do that now. Once you are done stitching on the waistline, you can see we have the pocket right now. But then note that our pocket, we've not closed the pocket and the pocket bag. So I'm going to use the French seam method to close it up. So the way it is right now, just watch what I'm going to do. I'll just flip this pocket to the other side this way and I'm going to run my stitches. Okay, I'll start from the beginning. From here, I'm going to run one quarter, which is 0 0.25 inch of seam. So I'll run it to the end now, then I'll come back to show you what next to do. Here, I've stitched at um, 0 0.25, which is a quarter of an inch to the end. Then I'm going to turn this pocket this way, back to the normal position, this way. Okay, then I will run another three quarter of an inch. So let me do that. Once I've turned it to the other side now, I will run uh, 0 0.25 of an inch. That is one quarter of an inch this way to the end. So I'm done running the stitches, okay? So that is the French seam method. So they, you can see the pocket right there is neatly finished. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to come over to the side, the side of this pocket and arrange the skirts and the pocket and the pocket bag. Everything, I will arrange them appropriately. Then I'll just run a little stitch to hold it so we'll have our pockets. Now I've joined the upper and the down part and I've pinned the neckline with the lining. So. I'm going to sew and turn and top stitch, okay? So once I'm done with that, I'll also couple the back. So this is the back with the lining. So I'll just simply go ahead and stitch my zip. So this is the zipper. I'm going to mark the zipper point, close up this side and leave my slits at about 19 inches, okay? Then attach my zipper and sew my lining to lining. So I'll quickly do that and we'll proceed. I've gone ahead to couple this dress. I've sewn the zipper, the shoulder seam line, the size of this gown, the sleeve, as you can see right here. I've coupled everything and we are done with this dress. I've sewn the sleeves into the bodies, as you can see. So that is how we come to the end of this tutorial and I believe this class was helpful to you. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you once again. See you in the next class. Bye.